Hi guys, welcome to third grade, chapter 10, lesson five. Let's go ahead and get started with number two. It says Katie practiced the flute for 45 minutes. Then she ate a snack for 15 minutes. Next, she watched television for 30 minutes until 6 p.m. What time did Katie start practicing the flute? So let's go ahead, we're gonna do our number line. Okay, we're gonna start at 6 p.m. Okay. Now, she watched television for 30 minutes. 30 minutes would get us to 5.30. Okay, so that's our 30 minutes for a flute. Okay, oh sorry, that one's TV. TV, okay? Now, um, she had a snack for 15 minutes. So if I go back 15 minutes, that gets us to 5.15. Okay, that's our snack. Okay, now she practiced flute for 45 minutes. Well, if I go back 15, that gets me to five. Then if I take away the other 30, that, because 30 and 15 is 45, then that gets me to 430. And that was her flute time, okay? So, what time did Katie start practicing the flute? 430. PM. There we go. Okay, let's try one more, okay? Nick gets out of school at 225. He has a 15 minute ride home on the bus. Next, he goes on a 30 minute bike ride. Then he spends 55 minutes doing homework. What time does he finish his homework? So this way we're gonna go forward, okay? So, 225. Okay, we're gonna start with our 15 minutes. Okay, which lands us at 240, because 25 and 15 is 240. Okay, now, that's our bus ride. Okay, next, we're gonna go 30 more minutes. Well, that would be 270, except 270 doesn't exist because it starts over at 60, so that would be 310. Okay, now, that's our bike ride. Bike ride. Okay, now 55 minutes. Well, 50 minutes gets us to four o'clock, so 55 would be 4.05. Okay, now this is his homework time. So now we have all of our times accounted for, and we stopped at 4.05 p.m. Okay, you guys go ahead and try to do number four. Okay, um, Okay. so you're going forward in time, okay? All right, go ahead and give that one a try. We're gonna go ahead and go over to the back side where you guys are gonna do the lesson check, just like always, and we are going to go down and do the spiral review. It says write fractions, two-fourths, two-eighths, and two-sixths in order from least to greatest, okay? So, here's a secret, okay? We have two fourths, we have two eighths, and we have two sixths, okay? So, here is a secret. When the top number is the same, then the one with the biggest number on the bottom is actually the smallest. So, we're gonna have two eighths, then six is the next biggest, so then two sixths, and lastly, two fourths, okay? You can absolutely do the butterfly thing to figure it all out if you know how to do that, where you do two fourths and let's say two eighths, and then you guys do the multiplying, that one's eight, that one's 16, so then the eight one is smaller. You can absolutely do that. If you know how to do it, we're gonna stick to this little trick. Okay. Find the unknown factor. Six times what is 36? Well, six times six is 36. All right, there were 405 books in the library shelf. Some books were checked out. Now there are 215 books left on the shelf. How many books were checked out? Well, I'm gonna start with 405, and I'm gonna take away the 215, and that'll give me the difference, which is how many books, okay? 
So 5 minus 5 is 0. 0 cannot take away 1, so I'm going to borrow 1, and that makes that a 10. 10 minus 1 is 9, and 3 minus 2 is 1. 190 books. Okay? Savannah has 48 photos. She places 8 photos on each page of her photo album. So we can either do 48 divided by 8, or we can do 8 times blank is 48. Okay, how many pages on each on ugh, how many pages in the album does she use? Well, what times eight is forty-eight? Well, six times eight is forty-eight. So six pages. Alright, guys. Thanks for hanging out for ten point five. Come on back for ten point six. See you soon.